Joining us now to talk uh, more about this week's Fed decision is Robert Kaplan, former president of the Dallas Fed. He's co-chair of Draper Richard uh, Kaplan Foundation. What's bothered me for a while, Robert, is, is knowing that the Fed's tool is just sort of not the greatest way to try to control inflation because it, it goes against what we want, which is a strong economy and low, and low unemployment. If I was convinced that inflation was coming down, I wouldn't hike anymore. So they, it, this must be all about inflation. I, I just don't want to think that the Fed sees strong employment and strong economic numbers and says we have more work to do just because we haven't really affected what we were trying to do all along, which was to slow the economy. That, that's no good reason to keep going. So they must be convinced that core is still too hot and staying too hot. Uh, the core measures are still too high. Uh, there's a reason for that, I think. Uh, in that if it were not for the remaining ARPA money that hasn't been spent, money from the Inflation Reduction Act, which is substantial in terms of manufacturing projects all over the country, the Infrastructure Act leading to new projects, I think the Fed would be done. Oh, wait a minute. Fed the Inflation be done right Reduction now. Act is causing inflation? In the long run, it will help inflation. In the short run, it is increasing. <laughs> it, 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 unbelievably it, inflationary. It's yes. increasing demand for right. goods, services, and workers. And uh, my own view is they'd likely be done now. The, the economy would be weaker. But what you're seeing is anything interest rate sensitive is very weak. Goods are very weak. Disinflationary. The service sector is resilient. The consumer is resilient. And I think the X factor in all this is uh, the government spending that is still helping to uh, prop up the service sector. And it means inflation is likely to be sticky. We're going to spend this money over a period of years. So we're going to have this problem for years? So it, the, the, the White House has put out a map of the new manufacturing projects and infrastructure projects across the nation. Uh, and you're seeing uh, 30 or 40 projects spread across the country, each usually the largest infrastructure project in the history of the state, the $12 billion tunnel project here that was just announced. And in addition, there's still X hundred billion of unspent ARPA money that went through the budget deficit two years ago. And I can tell you locally in cities and towns across the country still hasn't been spent. That none of that sounds great. So, so but, but, to, to, just to follow go ahead, up, yeah, go ahead. the Fed doesn't react to this. Well, the and, Fed and, and it's been a problem. Part of the thing that got them into the place they are right now is the failure to react to the fiscal spending in the front end. So the Fed, uh, which I always hated this term, uses the term data dependent. So with the extent it shows up in the data, which it is showing up in the data, it's why the service sector is this resilient, they're reacting. I'm a big fan at looking at drivers, and I think the Fed, I've encouraged them, do more work at the ground level on this spending, not only what's been announced, but what's going to be announced because I think it'll give you a sense of what the data is likely to look at six, 12 months from now. And this money will eventually run out, in which case I think your comments on the neutral rate, uh, I think the neutral rate isn't that high because we've got an aging society, decelerating workforce right. growth, productivity is okay but not enough to make up for it. And you could have a situation where if this money dries up, when it does, it won't happen this year or next year, when it does dry up, I think you're going to have a much for more severe downturn and the Fed's going to have to reverse course. Would you be really unhappy if the Fed just stayed where we are right now for, for longer? Uh, I think that is one approach, but you're going to have to accept that inflation is going to stay sticky. If we go up 50 basis points, it's not going to stay sticky? Uh, here, here's, uh, I, think, I think the Fed funds rate is the only tool they have. I'd be a fan of a whole of government approach to fight inflation. I mean, if you're relying just on the Fed to fight inflation, it's a tough battle. I think you could look at energy policy, produce more, this is heresy, to say this, produce more no, fossil fuels in no, the United States. Definitely not be helpful. Aren't you from Texas? Legal, yes. Legal immigration would help. Yeah. I think you need more than just the that's, Fed to help fight inflation. You're talking about supply inflation. side now, Robert, and that's not like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just mentioned about three supply side. Those are remedies. structural changes that the Fed doesn't have control over. They need help from other parts of the government. And I think if the Fed says we can handle this all by ourselves, you're going to have rates a lot higher than they'd be otherwise. Anything interest rate sensitive, real estate, small businesses are going to really struggle. 
and I'd love to see a more broad approach to fighting inflation. Nobody wants small business or any of those things to struggle. That's, 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 so that's why it's such a paradox. It is. The way that the Fed has to do things. I'm, I'm hoping the, the thing coming down is faster. The inflation than coming down faster than the Fed has to raise rates. I mean, look, that's entirely possible. It's definitely one of the outcomes. Not according that, to, no. He, it, I think it's, uh, what they used to say when I was growing up, Russell versus Chamberlain, they tend to neutralize each other. This is a basketball analogy. Yeah. Don't, 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 you're, don't date yourself. You're, I'm wow. dating myself. You're, I'm sorry. Wow. you're raising the Fed funds rate, but you've got this X factor in fiscal spending. And to some extent, I think uh, one is blunting the other. Uh, I'd love to see more of a whole of government approach. Was Wilt the best ever? I think Russell was the best ever. Oh, or Russell. One of those two, but yeah. not really. Better than Jordan? Michael Jordan? Well, of, of course. I mean, we, let's not even go there. That's, uh, of course. And LeBron. And Don't LeBron. forget LeBron. In terms of, just if you look at the numbers.